Hey guys, welcome to another Vainglory Hero Spotlight. Today, we're looking at Batiste, a fearsome spirit with control over death itself. Batiste excels at causing mayhem on the battlefield. Capable of singling out enemy heroes or making entire teams flee in terror, Batiste is a frightening foe. Batiste's heroic perk is Reap. Batiste gains a soul fragment every time he performs a basic attack or lands an ability against an enemy hero. Each soul fragment gained will heal him for a small amount, scaling with his crystal power. Batiste's soul fragments are shown by the white bar underneath his health and energy. Once he reaches four soul fragments, Batiste becomes empowered, dealing additional damage with his basic attacks and abilities for a short time. Until the empowerment fades, he cannot harvest any additional souls. Batiste's first ability is Bad Mojo. Batiste lobs a vial of liquid in a target direction. It explodes when it reaches its maximum distance or when colliding with an enemy. The target hit directly by the vial is slowed and takes damage, while nearby enemies are dealt reduced damage from the explosion. Batiste's second ability is Ordained. When Batiste casts Ordained, the target enemy is damaged and an ethereal prison is formed around them. If the Ordained target touches the edge of the prison, the target takes additional damage and is briefly stunned. Batiste's ultimate is Fearsome Shade. After a brief delay, Batiste summons a wave of shade that travels in a straight line. Enemies the shade pass through take damage over time and are feared, forcing them to run away in terror. A team fight breaks out in lane and Batiste is caught right in the middle of the action. When Batiste sees the enemy Ringo, he immediately casts Fearsome Shade and forces Ringo to run in terror towards the wall. When his ultimate landed on the enemy hero, Batiste gained his fourth soul fragment and became empowered. He takes advantage of this window to immediately jump onto the Ringo, and makes quick work of him thanks to the damage increase received from his perk. With Ringo out of the picture, Lance and Finn turn their attention to Batiste, and he is brought critically low. Because his empowerment wore off, Batiste is free to gain soul fragments again, however. Thanks to his teammates buying him some time, he lands Bad Mojo on both of the remaining enemy heroes, basic attacking twice, gaining four soul fragments, and healing just enough to keep him alive to clean up the fight. Batiste's heroic perk, Reap, enables him to walk the line between life and death. With careful management of his soul fragments, he comes out on top. Now let's take a look at one of Batiste's core ability combos. Batiste is in lane against the enemy Kestrel and Samuel. While exchanging blows, Kestrel makes the critical mistake of getting too close to Batiste, and allows him to cast Ordained, giving him his fourth soul fragment. Kestrel manages to avoid touching the walls of the ethereal prison, but Batiste has a different plan in mind for her. With her movement restricted to the small circle, it makes it easy for Batiste to throw some shade, forcing her to flee into his previous ability. With Kestrel now stunned and low on health, Lance and Batiste finish the kill and deliver her to the afterlife. Thanks for watching the Batiste Hero Spotlight. Download Vainglory free on the Apple App Store, Google Play, and the Amazon App Store.